Okay, here we're going to look at submitting our assignment for the peer evaluation activity. So simply click into the activity, you'll see we're in the submission phase, and I'll just start preparing my submission. All I need to do is add my name as the title. And in the submission content, I'll sim simply provide a brief paragraph explaining my contribution to the group activity. Okay, so having added my paragraph explaining my contribution to the group, I then simply scroll down and save my changes. And that's all you need to do. What we'll now look at in a couple of minutes is what happens once the evaluation has moved on to the marking phase. Okay, so we're turning to the peer evaluation task a little, while, a little while later, once this has rolled through into the next phase. So you see now we're in the assessment phase. We have some instructions, and then you see we have the opportunity to assess each of the contributors to the group. So in order to assess someone, I simply click on the assess button. Here is the little paragraph of text that I wrote for this particular individual. And if we scroll down a little bit, there we have the matrix of the criteria that you have been asked to assess upon. So I just need to click in the appropriate boxes. And save and close. So we can see I've now assessed this person so it's green. If I want to go back and change that, I can click into reassess. Otherwise, I simply move on and grade the next student. Then we see their submission. This is what they've said their contribution to the group work was. So I'll then assess them. and save and close, and so on until you complete all of the people within your group, and that's all there is to it.